Yo, what's up, YouTubers? It's your boy, I Tech You All Guy. Here to talk about a specific application, WhatsApp. WhatsApp just struck a deal with Freedom Pop, um, allowing Freedom Pop users, I, I guess new users, I haven't got word about current users or whatever. But um, yeah, I think the new customers um, can use the WhatsApp application for free on Freedom Pop. Now, if you already using Freedom, I mean, if you already using WhatsApp, then this is a this is a big deal. This is a big uh, this is a binge on. This is basically binge on for instant messaging. Now, yeah, the only thing you can do, I think, is call and text or some sort like that. You can text and call, so you can you can make calls. You can make calls and you can um, voice chat things like that. I don't know about video chat, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can use uh, MMS and things in that sort with uh, WhatsApp. And all you got to do is just um, basically look up contacts. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Look up contacts um, and start chatting away with people. Um, but yeah, so Freedom Pop has struck a deal. Freedom Pop has struck a deal with WhatsApp. So if you're using Freedom Pop and you're on a free uh, plan or whatever like that, it won't go against the 200 megabytes of data. So you can actually use this free on a Freedom Pop SIM card, things and that sort. I'm actually going to try to do some testing um, with the WhatsApp on my account. So um, I did I did get in contact with Freedom Pop on on Twitter and Facebook and such. They haven't responded back right away, but they did. Um, you know chat with me about my account and everything like that everything is good everything's clear but yeah so what do you all think about instant messaging binging on like you would think t-mobile would have struck a deal with a couple of companies like skype maybe uh even what's happened facebook messenger to allow users to instant message without you know using the data but you know as a lot of people say well, instant messaging doesn't kill any data. So, only one way to find that out is if you use it on your data and it does not even touch the data. But I could kind of agree with that because if you guys checked out my uh, what data leakage video, if you notice that it was 1.43 megabytes used um, beforehand, I was using Google Hangouts to text and call uh, people and that really wasn't killing data. So there may be some truth to that, but to have unlimited access to a uh, WhatsApp without using any data. Now this is something to really test out. Um, hopefully I can give you guys some good results in that if I start, you know, chatting and trying to make calls on WhatsApp using my friend pop sound card. Uh, right now this is the 6p of course so I got the freedom I got the um, project 5 sim in here but I got the freedom pop on my next six so we're gonna go ahead and do a little test with that and I get back to you guys on that so what do you all think about binging on with instant messaging now we got binge on with streaming music and videos Netflix YouTube YouTube music all that and then we have binge on with instant messaging apps now these is a couple of them like hangouts WhatsApp, Line, Skype, uh, Facebook Messenger. These are just a few uh, to name. But, um, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on that. Should more um, carriers get involved with the binge on situation um, to, to lower rates on data plans and maybe give you a free, <laughs> a free phone service? All right. It's your boy. I'll take you out, guy. Deuces.